People, of course, staying home. Supermarkets and neighborhood grocers have seen a spike in the demand for home deliveries. Are they handling that demand? Tonight, Kick Alliance Rachel Kim has that part of our story tonight. If you've tried to order groceries online recently, chances are you came across messages like this. We're sorry, all shoppers are busy for today. We tried to buy some sourdough bread and got, due to increased demand, some items may be out of stock when we shop your order. And then there are the limited or unavailable delivery days. Natalia Bublik was on her way into the grocery store when we asked her whether she's considered getting her groceries delivered. I tried Amazon, a couple of other sites. Uh booked for the next week or so and the kids are hungry now so oh yeah it's just they're uh, sold out as well according to aptopia.com grocery delivery apps are seeing a record number of daily downloads because of concerns over the spread of coronavirus they say in one month instacart walmart grocery and shipped have seen their daily downloads surge by 218 percent 160 percent and 124 percent I think especially if you're immunocompromised or older, it's a good idea to consider ordering online as much as possible. If you are getting your groceries delivered, here are some tips. Avoid a direct handoff. Arrange to have the items delivered to your doorstep. Tip electronically so you don't have to hand the delivery person money. And order earlier than you usually do because with higher demand, you will have to wait longer. If it comes gets worse, then I think I'll try to look online, but for now, I'm sticking with the grocery store. Yeah, I think I'd rather just come to the store. I mean, um, I just I want to be outside a little bit. Another way to limit contact with other shoppers is with grocery pickup. That way, you only have contact with one store employee from their curbside parking space. Reporting from Studio City, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.